And checking in one final time with Jill Belland, hanging out at Absolute Dance, getting ready for their big production of Peter Pan. And are you finally Tinkerbell? I am at heart, Tinkerbell. Yes, <laughs> that is the part that I would love to play you guys. Uh, but maybe one of these parts, too, the Feathered Braves. This is a beautiful number. And we're going to start things off here. And this is wonderful because you were saying, Erica, off camera, that now you have a beautiful, large group of senior dancers. Yes, we are so fortunate to have such a wonderful group of girls that are coming up through the ranks of our studio. And it's really nice to be able to put a large production number like this together and have our girls on point. Yeah, absolutely. And it's so beautiful to watch, too. So three performances this upcoming weekend. And again, uh, let's address the charitable component, which we talked about earlier this morning. But this is your way to give back to the community. You betcha. Every year we do two silent auctions prior to our shows. And 100% of the proceeds will go to the Alberta Children's Hospital Foundation. Excellent. So three performances, one, three, and five, Sunday at the Wright Theatre. And tell us a little bit about this part of the story. So where, do these, where does this place come in? Uh, so we are meeting our Tiger Lily for the first time, and it is our first introduction to the Feathered Braves in the show. Okay. And are they on, oh, whose side are they on? Is this, how do they relate to Peter Pan? We'll bring Janelle in for this, who has been studying the story. How, how do the Feathered Braves relate to the story? Well, the Feathered Braves are kind of in cahoots with the Lost Boys and Peter Pan because together they're, they're in this ongoing battle against Captain Hook, who's trying to take over Neverland. So in the end of the story, uh, Captain Hook captures the Lost Boys and Wendy, John, and Michael and Tiger Lily and the Feathered Braves, and then Peter Pan comes to the ris rescue along with Tinkerbell and releases everybody, and Captain Hook gets tossed into the water and eaten by the crocodile. All is well in Neverland again. Right, okay. And how many point numbers are there in the production? You know what? There's probably four or five. These girls have their shoes on for the entire show. And same with our character that plays Wendy. So it's quite a, quite a bit of point work that they've been doing, which is really great for building strength and, and experience and, you know, getting more comfortable in their shoes. Yeah. Such an exciting moment when the girls get their first point shoes. I remember that well. And what a great number. Thank you so much for hosting us this morning. Always a pleasure to check out the holiday production here at Absolute Dance. Three performance times on Sunday, 1 p.m., 3 p.m., and 5 p.m. at the Wright Theatre. Ted Tara? Excellent facility. You were saying you love the graffiti art. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love that stuff.